Okay guys, today we're gonna be going over two really exciting products that are new to our range. These are from NV Car Care. One is Morph from their Mastery Series. This is an all-in-one polish and coating primer. And the other is Lustra, a high gloss spray coating. Both are very easy to use and for the enthusiast or the professional that are looking for great results in a short amount of time, this combination is fantastic. So we're gonna be using my 2003 BMW X5 as the demo car for this. Uh, most of the paint on the car is original. Some of it has been resprayed. As far as I know, this door is original. It could have had some repairs done to it, but my point being, you know, the vehicle has age. It's got 118,000 miles on it. It's my daily driver and it does not get washed or polished as nearly as often as it should. So I'll put the light on it here just to show you guys. Hopefully you're able to see the paint is in pretty rough condition. We've got some water spots, quite a bit of marring and some rock chips that need repair deeper scratches that are not gonna be coming out from this process. But overall, it's in pretty rough condition. I mean, I would say it's probably a six out of 10, maybe on the damage. So I think what you'll find is that with this product, Morph, it will make a significant difference in a short period of time. It is an all-in-one, so it's going to be an enhancement. It's not going to be a paint perfection product by any means, but it is unique in a couple of different ways from other all-in-one products. Morph contains the same Nova coating technology as the rest of the NV line. So as a standalone product, this is gonna net you four to six months of durability with proper maintenance. And it's also a great coating primer. So you can actually polish the vehicle with this, wipe it off, wait a couple hours for it to cure, and go straight to your NV coatings. It works with any of the range, including Jet, Lustra, and even Evo. So it has a six out of 10 cut, which means it'll remove medium defects. So I think we're gonna see a very significant enhancement on this paint here and it finishes down 9 out of 10 which means you get a great LSP ready finish. It does not contain fillers, durable fillers, so a common trend with most all-in-one products is you will polish the vehicle and after you wash it a few times or it rains on the vehicle a lot of those filling agents will evacuate the surface revealing a lot of the defects that you thought you had once removed. So you're not going to experience that with this product. Another great benefit if you do use it as a coating primer, you will notice that the coating installation goes much more smoothly. There's a lot of paint systems out there, GM Jet Black comes to mind, that are very difficult to ceramic coat. So traditionally, you're going to use your compound and your polish, and then you're going to have to use a panel wipe to remove those polishing oils from the surface so that your coating adheres to the clear coat properly and you get the expected durability of the product. The caveat to that is when you prep the panel in that fashion, sometimes when the coating lands down, it's, it drags quite a bit. And when you go to remove it, you can cause marring in the surface, which is incredibly frustrating after you've just spent hours getting the paint ready for the coating. Morph is gonna leave that fine layer of Nova coating on the surface, a fine layer of SiO2, so that when you do go to install your coating, you'll notice that it is a much smoother application process and it's not nearly as fussy as far as wiping the coating off and getting it to a streak-free finish. So today we're gonna be using Morph All-in-One followed with Lustra and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it here. This is not the only way you can use this product. This is just how I like to use it. I'm gonna be using a Rupes yellow polishing pad, foam polishing pad on a Rotex 125 with the force rotation action. I use a speed two, one to two typically with this machine. It's very efficient, so the need to turn up the speed is really not necessary. Um, 
The only other thing I'll note is that you can use this with a lot of different pads, uh, depending on the paint system and what kind of pads that paint system responds well to. I found that the yellow Rupes pad, the red Buff and Shine foam pad, and the Lake Country all-in-one microfiber pad all work very well with this product. Since this is a pad that has been freshly cleaned, I haven't used it at all today, as you can see. I'm gonna use a little more product than I normally would just to get it primed, so to speak. But this product, a very small amount, goes a long way, meaning once you do get the pad primed and you've worked your first couple of sections, you do not need to add as much product to keep it going. Obviously, I recommend using a brush and or compressed air frequently just to keep the pad cleaned out. But even after you've done your first prime and cleaned it out, you just don't need nearly as much product as I'm applying right now to get it ready. So I prime my pad. I'm gonna polish this left side here. Obviously the car has been washed and prepped. I didn't do an exhausting prep by any means, but I made sure to get this panel prepared so that I could properly polish it for you guys. Okay, so I'm not looking at a timer, but if I had to guess, that was probably somewhere between a one and a half to a two minute pass. Not very long. This is a diminishing brace of a technology, so you are able to work the product for longer if you so choose to remove more defects. But the goal of my video today was to show you guys how great of an improvement you can make in a short amount of time with this product. Grab a towel from over here. One thing I'm sure you noticed during the video is that this is a very low to no dust product, which I really like for a couple of reasons. One, it doesn't create mess. And two, the way we structure our shop, we have this side, this unit, which is used for detailing, correction, disassembly of the vehicles, any of the messier work, you could say. And the side next door is used for paint protection film and coating applications. So after we apply paint protection film, sometimes we find that even if the car has been corrected on this side of the shop, sometimes it's necessary to repolish the vehicle on the side dedicated strictly for paint protection film and coating applications. Sometimes when you're squeegeeing or handling the film on the vehicle, we'll get a little bit of marring and we'll want to repolish just to ensure that the customer is getting the correction that they paid for. So if you're a professional, Morph is really valuable in the sense that you can use it in an area where paint protection film is being installed and not have to worry about heavy amounts of dusting or contamination getting into the air or your workspace. So again, that was a really short pass, but I think you guys will see that the results are great. I'm trying to make sure I hold the camera at the right angle here. So it successfully took out, it looks like all the water spotting is gone. There's definitely still some marring and deeper scratches that were not removed. Had I used a microfiber pad, perhaps I would have removed more of that marring, or if I had simply just done a longer pass, might have yielded a better result. But overall, for an enhancement service, this is a really great result in a very short amount of time. Take off the tape here. spray here sometimes when you polish over a tape line like that it's it can be a bit hard to wipe off the residue it's not something I generally like doing but for the sake of a video demonstration I felt that it would be necessary to 
show you guys the results here. It's nice and clear, no haze left behind. Anyone who's familiar with these lights, the Fenix lights, they're extremely harsh, very, very bright. Probably not the type of light that you wanna be using on a one step or an enhancement polish. It's a little more forgiving on this paint since it's metallic blue, but I really wanted you guys to be able to see the true results with this product. They're achievable. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Lustra, even though I have not obviously polished the entire panel. I just wanna show you guys how easy it is. One reason I really like stacking these two products is that if you are selling a customer an enhancement polish, or if you're an enthusiast and you simply just don't have the time to do a full correction, you're gonna have a little bit of that anxiety of knowing, oh, I did not remove as many defects as I could have had I done a full-blown correction, whether it's a two-stage or a single-stage polish. Lustra has a very good ability to fill in minor defects. So the two of these products together in the amount of time that you spend produce a very outstanding result and will give you six plus months of protection easily with proper maintenance. Lustra, if you're familiar with detail sprays, it's a pretty similar application process. The biggest difference is you're gonna to wanna to use two towels. So I have two clean towels here. Both of these we sell. This is the Plush Plus, which I like to use to apply it. And this is the Zero Finish, which I like to use for removing the product. So just like a regular detail spray, you're gonna spray the product onto the paint. The fact that we've used Morph has given us a base layer. So you do not need to use as much product as if you were applying Lustra to a non-coated or non-prepped surface using Morph. Meaning if you had just used a regular polish and done a panel wipe with something like Gion Quartz Q2 Prep, that's what we use here in the shop, you would wanna apply a few more sprays just to ensure that you're getting maximum coverage. But the fact that we've used Morph, at least on this side, is going to help us maximize the amount of uh, durability. So not as much product is required. And you won't get any more durability if you use more product, if you've used Morph beforehand. So I'm simply just gonna wipe it on, make sure I get even coverage. Flip over, keep buffing it off. And then I'm gonna take my second towel. I really like the zero finishes for removal because as the name implies, they leave a zero finish. There's no streaking left behind. They're very safe towels, meaning they won't scratch or mar. And they make sure to leave no streaking or residue behind. Lustra is a very slick product. If that's something that you're into, you'll definitely like this combination. It's extremely slick. I would compare it to a waxed finish, but with the beading and sheeting properties of a coating. So that's it. It's a very simple process. This is a great combination for professionals and enthusiasts alike. And as always, we sell all of these products in our store, parkscarcare.net. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please feel free to drop them in the comments below or send us an email and we'll make sure to get to it. Thanks.